everyone and today I got a cool video for you guys and today's video is just going to be an account overview of my account that I have in Honkai Star Rail. I've been playing this game since day since the game launched in April of 2023 and it's already the new year of 2024 and I wanted to get to make this video just telling you what I like about the game why I love the game and why I play the game and that it comes out uh, 2.0 comes out this month in February 2024, which is going to be a new exciting update because they've been showing off a lot of stuff about Penacone and it's going to be very exciting. It's going to add more story. There's going to be new characters and there's going to be more updates to the game where it's going to be at a 2.0 update, which makes this game really cool and amazing. And the first thing that I want to talk about on my account is where i'm at like where am i at trailblaze level wise because that's the something mostly everybody thinks that people like to talk about is the trailblaze level my trailblaze level 65 if we take a look here i am trailblaze level 65 i do have the maximum amount of exp you can get because <laughs> i log in just about every single day with the trailblaze level 65 I use this, if I do the equilibrium, I will automatically level up to 70. If we click here, it tells you what levels it is to get to the next equilibrium. <laughs> and I'm already at the 65. I go the next level up. It's going to be level 70. I will get more rewards from Pom Pom, a uh, little train conductor dude, that will give you more rewards for warp pulling on the warp. So that be more of the standard banner that'd be the regular warp that's here that's always going to be here unless to get be closer to getting this which i do not have at the moment but that's basically where i'm at with the trailblaze level i don't really i what i do in the game right now i log in i farm for a specific character using my energy every day since they have a good requirement in the game they upped it to 240 which is nice comparative to other gacha games you have a low amount of stamina and it just takes forever to do anything or progress your characters unlike in this where you give you they give you they gave us 240 stamina which is 240 and then they gave us a reserve uh, a reserve cap for just playing, if you're not playing the game and you hit your cap of 240, this will charge and you can get a maximum of 240. That allows you to play one month of full playing the game with no hassles, which is really cool. That's what, what brought me in is not because of that. It was because of the cool, unique characters that brought me into Honkai Star Rail. I play this game every day but not long every day but i do play every day just about and i'm really liking this game so so far i can see that my there this is tied to your equilibrium level for the simulated universe i do farm these on my account all the i'll just go to the data bank then i can show you for all the characters these are most these are the characters that i do have on my account right now most and these are the ones I do not have on my account right now. So which is really I like what I have right now. I can play I can get through everything in the game with just these amount of characters. If we take a look at light cones, these are all the light cones that I do have right now in the game. There are some really good light cones. I've did buy the battle pass a couple of times, so I do have some of the battle pass light cones, which I do like to use and everything because the battle pass helps me out on leveling up characters when i very first started doing this i was like i have a simple goal and my goal is to get every character that i can acquire to level 80 because at level 80 there are some restrictions if you go to either traces you can't get this trace here or you can't get the top until you get to max equal um max trace level so like 
for example, look at Welt. If I want this, they need require Ascension level six. And if I want to get Welt to Ascension level six, he is right here. I need to get Ascension level one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have to get the highest Ascension level to get him to be able to get those traces. And then boom, he'd be at the powerful maximum that he can be. And I have this for everyone except these two characters because Dr. Ratio was free. He is a free five-star character. I lost the 50-50 trying to get E1 Ron May because I do have her here. I have her fully done. I have her fully done and up to the stat-wise that I want her to be. I was trying to get her E1 because her E1 is really good, but I didn't get her E1. I got Welt. So now I have a new Nihility character. I think I have almost all the Nihility characters. And let me check. Go to Data Bank, uh, character-wise, Nihility. I have all Nihility characters. I really do like the Nihility ter character team. I, don't, I have all of them, so which is really cool. I like the damage over time effects that are really cool and everything else. So let me show you what I have for Eidolons. I'm gonna just go through for all of the characters that I have the Eidolons for. I did pull her twice in a single 10 pull, which was nice, but that I hit pity on that one. I do have an E6 Luka. I'm missing one more on Sampo because then he'll be E6. I don't have any more Kafkas. I have E12, the main character. I have E2, Japart. I lost a 50-50 like three times, and I got him three times. I do have Silverwolf. I do have Ron Mei, Jing Yuen, Yang Ching. These are, I have Clara. Clara is going to be the next character that I'm going to be working on. I have Lynx at E1 because they do give, give out a free Lynx. I do have Natasha at E3. I have March at E6. Uh, Gunaifen at E3. On the next banner, you can be able to pull more of her, so I might get E6. I have E6 Pela. I have E0 Hanya. Yukong. I have E4. Ting Yun. I have E6. Asta. I have E4. Ching, Ching Shui, I have E6. Uh, she was one of the top characters. Uh, it's either Ching Shui or Pela that I was able to get E6 very close, very quickly at the very beginning. Um, I have E5, Serval. I have E4, Herda. I have E5, Xu Shang. Don't have any more Don Hongs. I have E2, uh, Shuya. Then I have E2, Hook. I have E4, Arlen, and then the two that I have that are both at E0 is these two five-star characters. And then let me show you where I'm at in the simulated universe. If we go to industrial guide and then click on teleport, I can just show you what I have left to do in the simulated universe. I've done all of the maps at least once. I haven't done this one at least once, what I mean. And I haven't done the Swarm Disaster, and I still haven't done the um, other one, the Golden Gears. So I haven't still haven't did any of those. But this is just my account that I've been playing, that I've been nurturing for a very long time. And I just wanted to show what I have before 2.0 comes out. I'm super excited for 2.0 because they've been showing a lot of stuff. I've been talking about it a lot to, <laughs> a lot lately. It is looking cool. There's some cool, unique characters that I'm excited for. Uh, one of the characters I'm excited for is Black Swan because she is part of the Nihility team. There is another look like a superhero character. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember her name. Starts with an A. But she looks like she's another Nihility character. But we don't know what her abilities do. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. I did show you what I have. I didn't go through all the characters and show you what I have built up. I have a total of nine characters done. But that's what I do have. So if you want to see another video like this, when like 3.0 comes out, I might do another one showing you the updates of the newer characters and stuff like that. So if you do 
like the video like and subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video of me just going over the account that i have and stuff like that it's just something that i wanted to do for a while now and and it seems pretty cool about doing this and just showing you what i have so i would like to say thank you guys for checking out my channel thank you guys for watching my videos Thank everyone for blowing up my last two other videos. If you've made it this far through the video, if you like the video, like the video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of gaming stuff and I do play tons of different other video games also. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.